The IDEX ColAlert test is the worldwide leader for the simultaneous detection of total coliforms and E. coli in multiple water types with results in 24 hours. ColAlert is available in 100 milliliter, 250 milliliter, and 10 milliliter formats. In the next few minutes, you'll learn how to use the 100 ml ColAlert test for presence absence detection and for quantification using the QuantiTray system. In the first demonstration, you'll learn how to use the ColAlert test for presence absence detection of total coliforms and E. coli. You will need the ColAlert reagent, a sterile, transparent, non-fluorescing 100 ml vessel, a temperature-controlled incubator, the coliform E. coli comparator, and a 6-watt, 365-nanometer UV lamp. Separate one ColAlert pack from its strip, taking care not to accidentally open the other packs. Snap open the reagent pack and pour the powder into a 100 ml water sample. Cap the vessel and shake to dissolve the ColAlert powder. Incubate for 24 hours at 35 degrees centigrade, plus or minus 0.5 degrees centigrade, or according to your local regulations. After 24 hours, read the results by comparing the samples to the coliform E. coli presence absence comparator. If the sample is yellow, equal to or greater than the comparator, the sample is positive for total coliforms. If the sample is less yellow than the comparator, the sample is negative for total coliforms and E. coli. If the sample is yellow, determine E. coli results by shining an ultraviolet lamp on the sample in a dark environment, shining the light away from your eyes. Keep the light within five inches of the vessel. If the sample is yellow and has fluorescence equal to or greater than the comparator, the sample is positive for E. coli. If you're unsure whether a result is positive, incubate the sample up to an additional four hours, 28 hours total, to allow the color or the fluorescence to intensify. Next, you'll learn how to use the ColAlert test with the QuantiTray system to determine the number of coliforms and E. coli in a water sample. IDEX offers two sizes of QuantiTray. Both work with the QuantiTray sealer. The standard QuantiTray is a disposable 51-well tray that provides counts up to 200 per 100 ml sample without dilutions. The QuantiTray 2000 is a disposable 97-well tray that provides counts up to 2,419 per 100 ml sample without dilutions. In addition to the materials used for presence absence detection, for quantification, you will need a QuantiTray or QuantiTray 2000, a QuantiTray comparator, quantitray rubber inserts, a quantitray sealer, and the included most probable number table or the IDEX automated MPN generator program found at IDEX.com. All of these items are included in the quantitray system and are available from IDEX. Turn on the sealer and then wait until a green bar appears on the display. The sealer has now reached operating temperature. Add the ColAlert powder to a 100 ml sample and cap the vessel. Shake until the reagent dissolves. Use only a permanent felt tip marker to label the quantitray. Adhesive labels may adhere to the sealer roller, and ballpoint pens may puncture the paper. Hold the quantitray at the top, with the well side facing your palm. Push the top edge of the quantitray in with your free hand while squeezing the tray into a circle. Open the quantitray by gently pulling the foil tab away from the plastic side. Be careful not to tear the tab. Do not touch the inside of the tray. Pour the sample mixture into the quantitray, avoiding contact with the foil tab. Place the filled quantitray on the rubber insert, making sure each well fits its corresponding hole. Push the insert with tray into the sealer until the sealer grabs the tray and pulls it into the slot. If you need to reverse the motor, press and hold the reverse button. However, do not reverse the motor if the rubber insert is completely inside the sealer. The sealer distributes the sample mixture into the quantitray wells, seals the wells, and partially ejects the sealed tray. Remove the rubber insert and tray from the sealer. Incubate the sealed tray for 24 hours at 35 degrees centigrade, plus or minus 0.5 degrees centigrade, or according to your local regulations. After incubation, mark each yellow well with a permanent marker including the large overflow well. To determine the number of total coliforms, count the yellow wells that are equal to or greater than the comparator, and then refer to the MPN table included with the quantitrays. The most probable number of total coliforms for this example is 17.8 per 100 ml. If using Quantitray 2000, count the overflow well as a large well. To determine the number of E. coli, view the quantitray with a UV lamp in a dark environment 
shining the light away from your eyes. Keep the light within five inches of the tray. Count the fluorescent wells that are equal to or greater than the comparator, and then refer to the MPN table. The most probable number of E. coli for this example is 8.7 per 100 ml. If you're unsure whether a result is positive, incubate the sample up to an additional four hours, 28 hours total, to allow the color and or the fluorescence to intensify. IDEX recommends that you run a quality control procedure for each lot of Cololert tests. You will find the quality control procedure in the Cololert product insert. For marine water samples, IDEX recommends using the IDEX Cololert 18 test. Refer to the Cololert 18 product insert for more information. Remember, incubate samples for 24 hours or up to 28 hours total. Samples less yellow than the comparator are negative for total coliforms and E. coli. Yellow samples that are equal to or greater than the comparator are positive for total coliforms. Yellow and fluorescent samples that are equal to or greater than the comparator are positive for E. coli. Please follow these testing guidelines. Store tests at 2 to 30 degrees centigrade away from light. Use only sterile, non-buffered, oxidant-free water for sample dilutions. Because these procedures may not reflect your local regulations, for compliance testing, be sure to follow all local regulatory procedures. Remember these tips. If a water sample has some background color, compare the inoculated color alert sample to a control blank of the same water sample. Always follow aseptic technique when using color alert and dispose of all samples and materials in accordance with local regulatory guidelines. If you have questions or need more information, call the IDEX water microbiology experts at the number on your screen.